we are now ready to perform the classification, but let's just check the files again, the trend ones. We have them here. We are going to use the paired ones, okay? So R1, R2. Now, if you check these files, the names are long. So this can be problematic. So what we are going to do is to assign these names to variables, and then we will just call those variables. So I will say read one equals train slash So three dot trend dot paired, and then I have I one. I will do the same for the two. Paired dot R two dot fastly dot DZ. So I have that there. Now let's also do the left one LS again. Let's check what we have. So look at the crack database. It also has a long name. So I'll assign that to a variable. So I'll say cracking BB equals Mimic cracking to underscore v2 agb 2019 for underscore updates. So this is the database name. Perfect. So I have everything I need. I am now going to perform the classification so that cracking will assign the persona means to the reads. So let's just go to the cracking GitHub page to see an example command. So we are here. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So there's an example. So we are going to do something like this. We add some flags as well. We are doing what's paired and reads. Let's go back to the terminal. So we will call cracking. So we say cracking two. And then we say dash dash use names. So this tells Kraken that we want the scientific names to be added. And we say dash dash db and we say dollar Kraken db. That is what we use. And we say dash dash threads. We specify eight. We can also use four if um, uh, your computing resources are, are small. You can use four as well. That should also work. So take note of that. So I say threats, yeah, that does threats, threats eight. And then I'll say that does reports. And then I'll say lib three that's reports. And so what we are doing is that in addition to the tracking output file that will be generated that has the um, taxonomy IDs, we also want to generate reports. And then the reports file will have this name. That is what we are specifying here. Okay, now let's also specify the kind of data. We identify what's paired anyway, so we say that that's paired. And then if you look at our first row files, these are what's dot gz. That is gz compressed. So we need to also specify this. I'll say dash dash gz dash compress. That is what I have here. Okay, that is what I have. After that, I will now specify my read one and then read two. So I'll say dollar read one and then dollar read two. And then I will use this to direct the uh, results to this output file. So the output file, let's say let's create dot cracking. So we will have two files this and then this one here perfect now let's run cracking perfect so database is being loaded and cracking will start the classification after the database has been loaded so let's wait and see how it goes perfect so that has been done Classification has been there. So we have this summary here to tell us um, what was processed and then um, those that were classified and those that were not classified.